this collection of crystals, an object is thrown vertically up at a speed of 20 meters per second at point A. Point A is shown. is our question question number one if figure a and figure b are drawn to scale which figure best describes the motion of the object at intervals of one second and why so what are the assumptions so you have no air resistance and nearly vertical motion it's vertical motion yeah, Shh. acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. Why negative? Because acceleration due to gravity is always pointing down. We chose positive y as vertically up. Because of that reason, acceleration due to gravity will be negative 9.8 meters per second per second. And that is roughly, for you and for me, for this collection of problems. Let's make it negative 10 meters per second per second. Only reason is that it's much more easy for you to follow everything with the number 10 than with negative 9.8. All right, so acceleration due to gravity for you and for me, for this collection of problems, for this set, is negative 10 meters per second per second. Assume constant acceleration, very important, constant acceleration. Some of these formulas don't hold unless you have constant acceleration. So assume constant acceleration, very close to the surface of the Earth. So let's review the problem again. An object is thrown vertically up at a speed of 20 meters per second at point A. After one second, it reaches point B, not shown. Time t is equal to 2 seconds, it reaches point C, not shown. On the way back to the ground, it reaches point D, not shown. At t is equal to 3 seconds, and point E at t is equal to 4 seconds. All times indicated are from the start. So what is our question? What is our question? Question number 1. If figure A and figure B are drawn to scale, which figure best describes the motion of the object at intervals of one second and why figure a a to b the distance a to b is the same as distance b to c and distance b to c is the same as distance c to d and distance c to d is the same as d to e Basically, it is. it looks like you're covering equal distances in equal intervals of time for figure A. For figure B, from A to B, you're covering more distance. From B to C, you're covering less distance. From C to D, less. And from D to E, more. Remember I said distance, all right? So A to B distance is much bigger than distance B to C. So what we see in figure B is that we are covering unequal distances in equal intervals of time. Remember, we are looking at intervals of one second. So is it going to be equal distances or is it going to be unequal distances? Answer one, equidistant space, an object that covers equal distances in equal intervals of time is going at constant speed. Our object is not going up or for that matter coming down at constant speed. Our object is accelerating. There is no air resistance. There is only the pull of the earth. So when an object accelerates, it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time. If we are looking at vertical motion. Thank you. 
If you want to send me an email, please do so, hdtvedu at gmail.com. And please um, let me know the video number. All right, thank you. Hard copy is available. Some restrictions may apply. Please contact me, hdtvedu at gmail.com. Thank you for your support. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.